Oh, hi. Welcome to Reinhardt. I heard you all had a bunch of questions for us college students, so ask away. What is Reinhardt known for? Oh, we have a fantastic education program, whether it be for normal education, for like K through 12, or music, for example. We, that's what I'm here for. I'm a music education major. And we also have a great nursing program and great sports programs. What made you choose Reinhardt University? You see, Reinhardt is a private college, so that means that our classes are smaller, that everything is smaller, more individualized, and that means I get more individual attention for my education, right? And that is mostly why I chose Reinhardt, for the smaller education, and because we have a great program here. Is college hard? <laughs> yes and no. You see, it can be hard in the sense that you have to manage your time well, but you are studying what you chose, like music, and I love music, so in turn, I love studying, love doing everything, so all the work I have from college is actually really fun. Do you enjoy your classes? Yes, of course, it's just like, you know, in your school right now, there are some classes you enjoy more than others, like, you know, I love piano, so my piano class in which I learn how to play the piano, I exceptionally, like, love, you know? And then there are all others like theory and stuff like that where, again, I love. And then, you know, you have your literature class, your math class, and those are, you know, not as interesting, you know, since it's not in your major, but, you know, for the most part, I enjoy my classes. How easy is it is to get one-on-one -on -one time with your professors? Mm, good question. Let me show you. Hi, Dr. Terry. Can I have a word with you for Hey! Hey, got any questions for me? Oh, yeah, actually. Um, do you enjoy college? Yeah. I have fun oftentimes in here. This is a commuter lounge. Oh. This is where a lot of students go and do homework, buy snacks, or play chess. What do you want to know? Well, um, what do you do for fun in college? Well, besides chess and food, the same things everyone else. Watch Netflix, play video games, like Nintendo, Smash, Mario Kart, all that good stuff. Cool. And what do you advice do you have for them in college? Advice for people going into college. I'd say don't overthink it. And be careful about your schedules. That's the only thing that's really tripped me up before. It's because it's not like classes in the morning. Homework in the afternoon, extracurriculars in the evening. It's sort of all mixed together, and that's what I found the hardest part to navigate through. Cool. But I found time for fun in the midst of it. Okay, then. Do you have a, a dorm here? Yeah. Want me to show you? Yeah, sure. Great. Let's go. Well, here we are. Let's see. For a minute. No? Good. Oh. Um, you know, this might not be the best idea. Hey, Hannah! Hey! Wanna show us your room? Yeah, sure, let's go. Come on. Oh yes, this is much better. <laughs> yeah, I can get messy too, but I do try to keep it tidy in here. Yeah, well, um, Hannah, what are your roommates like? My roommate Alexis isn't here right now, but she's great. We get along great and we're good friends. Cool. And are dorms expensive? Depends on what dorm you live in. I live in the apartments, which means I have a kitchen and a living room and my own room. So it's a little more expensive than if you live at Gordy or Eagles View. I lived at Eagles View last year and that was also a great dorm. Cool. And what about living in a, an apartment here? Is it good or bad? It's great. Um, I love the fact that I have my own room. Do you want to come see it? Sure. All right. All right, here's my room. Oh, it's so decorated. So, next question. What's the best, most successful way to step into college? I think the best way to step into college is with an open mind. You don't know what you're going to expect. I didn't know what I was going to expect. What, I didn't know what to expect when I got here, um, but I've met some really great people. So just 
um, try to meet as many people as you can and um, work hard in your classes and you'll have a great time. Ooh, I like that answer. So is it better to be in a dorm with someone who is studying the same major as you? Some pe For some people it works out great. I actually like that I live, my love roommate is a sociology major and I am a music major. So I don't see her in any of my classes. Um, I have most of my classes at the Performing Arts Center um, and I see music majors all day long. So it's really nice to have a connection to someone in another area of the school and get a different viewpoint. Cool. Well, those are all the questions. Um, the next person I get to interview is uh, Will Denny. Oh, Will, can I ask him his next question? Yeah, do you want to write it down? All right, yeah. Oh, hey, Will. Hi, Jaime. Yeah, Hannah wanted to write your first question, so here it is. Hmm. How many classes do you take at one time? Well, it all depends, because see, I actually technically have nine classes. But if you count actual classes such as ethics or music theory or ear training, that's around five. Um, if you count all the ensembles that I'm in, that's two. And if you count my voice lessons and my rehearsals, that's also two. Oh wow, that seems like a lot. So yes, then, sir. can you explain to me how that works, like credit-wise? What are college credits? So college credits work as um, how many credits you get in a semester, how many credits you need to graduate. So see, the, you could get um, credit hours from certain classes. Some classes have three credit hours, some classes only have one. Minimum amount of credit hours you're allowed to take as a full-time student at Reinhardt is 12. So you could take four classes that each have three credit hours, or you could take a 12 classes that all have one. Um, music education majors like myself, we're already an overload degree, so to, to be considered overloaded is taking over 18. Music ed majors are always taking 17 a semester, unless you're like me and you dual enrolled before you got to Reinhardt. Cool. Well then, what are classrooms like? Classrooms at Reinhardt are very small. Um, going off of what I have taken as gen ed and what, at Reinhardt, the very few I had to take, and going off of what I've taken in Fellaini, it's not that big at all. Like UGA, where you're in a you know seminar with 500 people and the professor standing there lecturing you, compared to Reinhardt, where you've got 13 to 14 in a classroom, and it's a very, very one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, ordeal. Cool. And what are, what time are the classes, or do you get to pick? Well, yes, I do get to pick which, what time I have my classes. For example, the class that I'm, we're doing this video for, Ethics, is offered at 8 a.m. It's also offered from 11 to 12.15, during the day and it's offered at 6 o'clock at night. I personally rather suffer and get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to an 8 a.m. class. That way my entire afternoon is free. Wow, sounds good. Yes, sir. That is all. Oh, goodness, look at the time. I've got to leave. Oh, hey. Hey. You want to ask more questions? Yeah, sure. How much free time do you have? Well, I mean, usually I have my afternoons free, um, but I like to use that time to study in sorts. Okay. How much of that do you spend studying? Um, well, you know, since I'm a music education major, I, my primary instrument is the voice, so I like to spend like two hours a day practicing singing in a practice room. And then outside of that, uh, like at night, maybe two or three hours uh, reading, you know, for my literature class or things like that, textbooks, um, reading, yeah, just. Sounds like a lot of classes. How, how do you keep up with them? Um, you see, I have an agenda in which I like to keep, you know, it filled with uh, homeworks, events, anything to organize by day so I know, okay, the next day I have this due, the next day I have this homework, the next day I have this event. And it's nice to be able to have that, you know, all scheduled out to know what's gonna happen. And then, um, you know, for the week for classes, I have a weekly schedule. I like to follow with all my classes, when I eat, when I'm supposed to study. And it gives me a sort of, you know, structure of the day so that I know what I have to do, I don't miss any of my classes. And it gives me a, you know, a set time of how much I need to study. 
Okay, cool. Actually, I think it's getting a little loud in here. Let's, let's change the setting. There, okay. Hannah, oh my gosh, I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and ask her the rest of the questions? Okay. All right. How's the campus food? It's great, there's lots of different options to choose from. What would you tell your younger self if you could? I would tell myself, first off, to not listen to what other people have to say about you because it won't matter in five years. Second off, to go practice piano. And third off, to try to be as involved as possible so you can figure out what you really love. Did the idea of college scare you? Yes, it scared me a lot and I was very anxious leading up to the summer before I went to school, but it ended up being great and um, I have my advice to anyone who's anxious about it is that everyone else is in the same boat as you. Is it hard to make friends in college? Not at all. It really wasn't. And when you, the first couple weeks when you get there, everyone else also wants to make friends. So it's a great time to connect with people, find people who you really like, and um, get to know them. Okay, great. Great. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and that you got a lot, a lot out of it, all your questions from college. <laughs> and <laughs> what's the rest called? Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Peace.